my window. Hello, traders. Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast here. It is the fifth day of April, Tuesday, approximately 9.15 in Honolulu, Hawaii. And this is the Daily Report. Gold is trading substantially higher this morning. Currently trading up about $18, $14.52, $14.53. You can see we have had a major, major breakout. We are looking at a daily candlestick chart. What I find most interesting is this absolute and utter breakout above this congestion area, this set of top, triple, quadruple tops that we have had and have had no ability to break above that. Well, that all changed today, traders. As you can see, this market is a runaway train. Traders, we are looking at a weekly candlestick chart, and I've added a Andrew's Pitchfork. I received an email this morning from one of our subscribers, and the question was that it looks like we're in the third wave, as you mentioned, with an expectation of a fourth wave down. If you could comment on the video today as to what levels you see us falling back to. I wish we had a science that was that exact. There, there really is no way when we're looking at complex waves and we are looking at actual points in which they're going to go through their count. That's almost impossible. But what I can do for you is this. When we take a look at this market from the Andrews Pitchfork, and this is a long-term channel line that I'm drawing, as you can see, when I pick and target the different lows and highs, I'm starting really at the beginning of this cycle, $800 gold. And then I am using this most recent low, this 1308, the beginning, and then the top here, this is 1432, 31, somewhere in that area. And those are the three points that I'm using for the target. And here's what I'm finding. When we look at it through there, what you see is that this last set of moves right in here have put us firmly above the handle. So we can now say on a technical basis that we have really, really good support in this area and we will be able to just follow this wave up, this channel line up to give us our indication of where that sh support should lie. And as you can see, because it's a channel line, it's going to continually move up if the market moves up, or I should say, as the market moves up. Now, the other thing that it will plot for us is where we should find some sort of resistance, and that resistance is also going to move. But as you can see, we are pretty much far away from the upper levels of that channel line. And because of that, I am not even going to attempt to look at where this wave is going to falter, go into wave four. I will look at wave four, that dip as an opportunity if we're still long in the market to scale or add to the position. That's what's logical. But to be able to ascertain or tell you, I think it's going to go to this level or that level, the only thing that we can do is really look at the Fibonacci extensions like we did yesterday to look at different targets along with this Andrews pitchfork. And that will give us some idea of where this market in fact might be headed. Traders, we are looking at our daily chart. This has got our major channel lines. It also has our Elliott wave. And we added yesterday our Fibonacci extension. When we look at this, you can see this top quite clearly and, and this breakout above the top. Of course, quick review. My belief, of course, is that we started a major impulse phase that began right down here, 1308. We had a tremendously nice first impulse wave, our corrective wave. And then, as I said, my belief is that we are in wave three. And I also believe that wave three is complex so that we had one and we had count two and we are now in count three. In terms of where count three could take us, well, listen, we're already at 1454, 1455. We're up a good 20, $21 on the day currently. The market is still trading. It's going to be active for another an hour and 45 minutes as I do this recording. We are going to have to see how it reacts at each point. In terms of a 
major area to look for, a major area to look for, it's probably going to be around 1478. That's what we talked about yesterday, and that is our 23% retrace, excuse me, our 23% extension. And of course, our extension is running simply from this top to this bottom here. Traders, I have compressed this chart as our last chart of the day, and you can see really through this chart just how strong these channel lines really are. And when we consider these upper level channel lines that could possibly be a target, and we take a look at the fact that we have just crossed up to this particular channel line right in here, you can see that the aggressive stance of gold has really changed. Now, for those of you who have been following my forecast, you know that I'm looking for this particular wave, wave three, to take us to approximately 1506. The calculation to derive that forecast was simply looking at this is wave one, and following R.N. Elliott's rules that wave three cannot be the smallest of any of the impulse waves, then we have to look at wave three possibly being equal, and that is where I got my target of 1506. It's simply looking at this $136 move. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind at this point that gold has taken on a different tact, the momentum has built, and we are up, up, and away with gold prices. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you good trading as always, and we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily review. Bye-bye. When I look out my window Many sights to see and when I look in my window